What we're doing is talking to the children and getting an understanding of what they enjoy and what they're passionate about and also building relationships with the children, which we've found creates you know, that deeper engagement during the class time when you know the learners and know the things that they really are drawn to. I made that frozen waterfall thing because Sophie started to make um, old love and then Miller said that's a good idea and then we just all started to build frozen stuff. That's Elsa. Those are two trees. And that's a snowflake which is black. I think the one thing that we have noticed is that children are really excited about coming to school because they've got projects that they haven't finished or something that they want to continue on with or a wee group that they're working with. So the parents are starting to say that their kids are really looking forward to going to school and they're happy to go to school. Some of the other benefits that we're starting to notice is that the children um, are able to concentrate more. I think that when they've kind of got all those things out of their system that they're actually ready to sit down and start their, their learning, whereas they might not be straight away at nine o'clock. And there seems to have been a flow on effect into their learning, so they're more settled and more enthusiastic to get and stuck into their work after they've had that time to experiment and explore. Once we've started to provide this agency and um, get a better understanding of our students, the inquiry has flown on into all of our other curriculum areas. Um, I think especially the need for student voice and acknowledging that has flown on, especially through math, and making sure that the children are being heard and have their chance to have a say. Why did you try and draw a hand? The learning numbers that add up to 10, like 5 and 5, you, if you know that 5 and 5 makes 10, you'll know that 50 and 50 makes 100 and 500 and 500 makes 1,000. Our group got some multi-link cubes and we put them together and we made um, 20 and we did like 19 plus 1 and stuff. This is the 7 that they did and then this is the... Um, 13, and that's the plus. So through the play-based learning we're able to um, see what the children's impulses are and see what they're drawn to. Um, and through the activities that get the most sort of action, we're able to sort of evaluate their effectiveness in, in a normal classroom program. So we've had a lot of things that the children have been naturally drawn to that we've been able to incorporate into maths or get them to write about um, some of the things that they've done. So it does start to flow on and when the children are really used to having a say about what they're doing, then they start to expect it, which keeps you honest as a teacher. <laughs> the chickens have been here for quite long and when they walk when they walk their foot is kind of spread but then when it goes up it kind of folds in and then goes back. And they've got a big bucket that has food that they eat from. So have a look at the chickens and think about what sort of, what sort of questions you can come up with. What are you thinking? We're learning about where will they come from and what they do in the wild. Because we found there's 19 billion chickens in the world and 500 something breeds. We haven't found out how they lay eggs, but that's what I'm going to do on the computer next. Yeah, I'm basically enjoying everything. I don't know what I'm enjoying the more. I think that the computers is what I'm, I am finding the funnest. So the play-based learning has definitely helped the children to work with different um, different groups of children, and they're finding children based on their interests rather than their friends, their group of friends. Um, the children, I'm finding their conversations are a lot more sophisticated as they're actually talking about the activity because they're also focused on trying to get the same outcome because it's the, something that they've gravitated towards um, without being prompted by a teacher. I think you can see the benefit in children going with their passions. I think that's the same as teachers going with their passions. So if, if you're engaged in the teaching and the planning aspect of it, um, when you're going with what you enjoy teaching then you enjoy teaching it and so the children are able to express what they want through giving them um, agency and a voice in the classroom 
but you're also allowed to have agency as a teacher to go and find the things that you're passionate about and also um, look at what other people are doing and be inspired on a daily basis by what they're doing as well.